Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, Local Projects. I'm Jorge Loco, this is Puppy Loco. Uh, we're back at the house. Uh, now this is uh, day seven I'm on the house and I'm six and a half days behind schedule. So uh, when you renovate, stuff like that happens. But, uh, again, it's not, not to sound like a broken record uh, that poison ivy so I can't be as physically active as I want it to be. And, uh, we're falling behind. So plans change. I talked about that before in another video. If you haven't seen the video series yet, check it out. Uh, go on. You can see how this thing started. You can follow my progress. Give me advice. Give me comments, suggestions, uh, anything you want to say. Uh, constructive criticism. What you would have done differently. Um, like I said in the first couple of videos, I am not an expert craftsman. I'm not a journeyman tradesman. I'm just a guy with some tools that likes to. Uh, I like to do renovations, I like to work on stuff, I like to build things. Alright, this is our outlet. TR, tamper resistant, that's new code. The duplex outlet, two outlets, and it's got the two USB connections. It's got one gold. Gold is your hot brass, gold, whatever. Silver, white, that's your neutral. Green is your ground. And this tells you on the back so you can't mess it up. But what I don't like about this is it has the pushing connections, so we're going to have to use those. done right now we I mean me and Puppy Loco I have a battery charger plugged into this outlet and the light is on so I know it's a hot outlet I'm gonna take my non-contact voltage tester turn that on it's a hot outlet it's beeping so we're going downstairs and we're gonna shut off the power By we, I mean me, because the puppy's afraid of stairs. Okay. Uh, I can tell you what, the box is labeled wrong, the panel's labeled wrong, and that's why you need your testers, because you can't trust what's on there. Our tester, it's not a hot outlet, and our light went off on the charger, so we're safe to work on this now. I don't want to get in a debate whether or not it's going to kill you, it couldn't kill you. Just be smart and turn it off. If you're not a professional electrician, turn it off. Don't work on hot power. Alright, Coco's ready to do some work. Oh, now she's camera shy. Alright, so now we can get this done. I got my tools laid out here. Uh, basically, we shouldn't need much for this. You need a screwdriver to take off your face plates and the um, nuts, or not the nuts, the screws on the side of the outlet to loosen the wires. And I have pliers. That's really all you really should need. You may not even need pliers. Depends if this is stranded or solid wire. So I mean, we're going to let Coco take care of this. All right, get her done. Go ahead. And good help is hard to find. All they do is stand around and watch you. All right. Come here, buddy. All right. I don't know if you can see it. Helper's laying down on the job already. Nice and crusty. 
box. So I've got two black wires and two not black wires. I don't know if that's white or ivory or yellow. Black is screwed into the brass, the gold. So that's going to be my hot side. The silver screws have the light colored wire, so that's going to be your neutral. This is solid wire, not stranded. Anybody else work with the micromanager? Stand over your shoulders, stairs at you all day. I don't know how I work in these conditions. outlets have one screw for hot, one screw for neutral, and it has the push-in tabs, the push-in holes. I don't particularly like using these push-in holes. Um, I've, I've pulled them out, I've, I've intentionally played with them and pulled wires out of these. So they're not the best. Heat can expand the wires, contract the wires. 
That's another issue you have to worry about. I had one electrician work on my garage. Said never to use them, and then the outlet didn't work. I took it apart, and he was using them. So, do as I say, not as I do kind of thing, I guess. So, black wire to the hot. Black wire to the hot. All right, here's what we have. We have two white non-black wires. I have two black wires and a green wire. It's all connected. And we're gonna have to fix it. I told you I don't like those. That's exactly why I had that tighten as far as it goes and it pulled right out. My inspector's back on job. I always get in the way. All right, I've got it tightened up now. Power's still off, I've got this plugged in, and I'm gonna go down and isolate the breaker now. Lucky number seven, lucky number seven it is. And this is where it helps to have uh, two people, one at the box, one up here so you can communicate. So, we're at box number seven. It's not combo number five, it's breaker number seven. I hope you can see the lights on now. Alright, we got, we got a message. What we got? We got it back in, but still no power. Screw to the top screws. Tighten the bottom one a little bit. All right, and this plate. That's how you go from a old two wire outlet to a three wire ground. Anybody can do it. Except for Puppy Loco. She won't do it. Ready to turn? Oh, well, thank you. It must be a union break time.
That's it. Renovation's done. I hit Wi-Fi. Coco can watch her tablet. We got the USB adapter, charger, extension, outlet, whatever it's called. Installed, we added a ground wire. We upgraded that from a two wire to now a three wire ground outlet. So, life is good, renovation is done. Thanks for stopping by.